What is going on guys? It is CH from Homebrew for Life, aka Binjin with Brajish. Back with another food video on a beer channel that nobody is probably gonna watch. We're gonna make pizza today in our waffle maker. Pizza waffles, mother nature's most powerful aphrodisiac. I have wanted to make this video for a very long time. I've had dreams about it in Technicolor. And today, me and you, we're bringing it to life. Oh, uh, there's, there's gonna be good news and bad news about this video. The bad news is that there's no beer at all whatsoever. But the good news is that this recipe is delicious. It's very affordable and anybody can make it. We got a $17 waffle maker off Amazon. This thing shreds, put it over here for the time being. This is gonna be the fastest way you could ever cook a pizza by far. That may or may not be accurate, but this is fast. We're not gonna mess with any oven today. We're just gonna rock and roll with this waffle maker. This waffle maker, this is the second time it's debuted on Homebrew for Life video before. I think we did some stout maple pancake thing or maybe a waffle thing maybe a year or two ago. Let's dust the cobwebs off. Maury's not here today. He actually dyed his hair silver and he looks like absolute garbage. So he's gonna take the week off and stand in the corner, face the wall, but the show's gotta go on. Always does. Like I said, this recipe is very affordable and it's also very interchangeable. It's almost impossible to mess up. Just like cooking a waffle. Just a bigger, thicker, double-double waffle. There's two ways to attack this recipe. If you just wanna make a delicious cheap pizza or calzone, I recommend going with the Pillsbury Classic uh, Crescent Roll stuff. It's about two bucks every time I see it at the supermarket. I buy it, you get about two 10-inch pizzas out of it. Or if you like thicker crust, maybe about eight inches. Well, we're not gonna go that route today it definitely requires an oven. We're not using an oven. Maybe we'll do that video in another lifetime, but today we're sticking to the plan. All right, here we go, the batter, very crucial. What we're gonna be mixing today, let me get my little whisk really fast. Um, what do we got? We got two eggs, we got a cup of flour, barrage, barrage flour, and a little bit of salt. You can use pretty much any salt. And uh, we got a cup of milk. Remember milk? Nobody drinks milk anymore. Whoa, I almost shit the bed with that one. And just mix it all in. I know a lot of people like to do like dry stuff and then wet stuff. And I don't think it matters. At the end of the day, it's all going in the same spot. And let's do it like that. And here's our salt. Dinner's ready. Mix it together until it's all uniform. That's a word I stole from Maury from last week. If you guys haven't watched any of our videos, we have a lot of videos. A lot of food videos that nobody watches. Last week was uh, beard battered corn dogs. We've also done beer battered chili rellenos. We've done beer battered fish tacos. This is the only food video I think we've ever done that isn't beer. So we'll make it up to you next week's video. We're coming out with a Mexican lager with Frank Zappa hops. So if you're a brew tuber out there, don't make that video or I'll get you. The same way Paul Bunyan got that blue ox. So just stir it up. And this is probably the point in the video where I'll play a montage and speed it up. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, just like that. You want it to be a little bit runny. It doesn't need to be too thick because we're not trying to, we're trying to create, we're trying to make it cook evenly. And it can be difficult because it's generally with 
Um, waffle makers, everything cooks in the center first or in the back and the front stuff doesn't get as uh, enough love. So we're gonna kind of work on that. It's a little bit lighter than um, somebody else's recipe on YouTube. It's a little bit lighter than, it's a little bit lighter than if I were just gonna do normal waffles, but that's what we did. That's what we're going for. Let's rock and roll. All right, so these waffles heat up as about as fast as anything. It takes about 20 or 30 seconds. So I got my Aunt Jemima thing on. I'm just sweating it out. It's hotter than 80s in here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna head open this up and we're gonna pour a little bit in here and we're gonna wait about 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. Something like that. Make sure it touches all those corners, all these little squares. The more squares we touch, the more toppings and stuff we can put on there. It's okay though, this looks good. Close it up right now. Give it about 30 seconds. Anybody know a joke? Did you guys hear about the circus fire? It was intense. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is, it's up to you with your toppings. I like uh, PPJ. Let us know in the comment section what your favorite pizza toppings are. Pepperoni, pineapple, jalapeno. I got my jalapenos right here, AKA Mexican lifesavers. As far as pizza sauce goes, you can get pizza sauce. You can get pasta sauce. I've used both. I cannot tell the difference. And um, that's all I have to say about that. As far as cheese goes, you always want to use mozzarella. Growing up, I used to do a bunch of hack stuff with cheddar. It turns out like trash. You always want to use mozzarella. I cook my toppings a little bit. You know, if it's pineapple or if it's artichoke, I might have a little bit of water. You can squeeze them out, hit them with a strainer, maybe cook them for a little bit. We just want to get some of that moisture out of there. Okay, so we're gonna open this back up. This is where you hit it with your pizza sauce. Just like that, put it in the center. But I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look that good right now, but you just wait. Something like that. All right, this is what dreams are made of. Try to spread it out just like a mash tun so there's no clumps. There we go. Now we're just having fun. A little pepperoni never hurt anybody, not even that one time. Here, and something like that. I'm gonna get some artichoke, put it in there. A little bit of pineapple. I probably should've cut the pineapple up in halves. It's gonna bulge out. Exactly what I just said not to do. We're gonna do. Welcome to my life. A couple Hollies, Mexican lifesavers. And this is where the magic happens. Whoa! Take it out of my raise. All right, so far so good. Kiss the brush. Now we're gonna go ahead and dump a little bit over. Get rid of this whisk now. Don't ever tell me I never touch anything. Make sure it stays on board. Even if it doesn't, it's okay. And this is where it's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. Try to get most of it on there. And I can already tell this is gonna be delicious. And here's the name of the game. You can save the batter. It's always good for if you actually want to make waffles or uh, anything else that requires batter, beer battered corn dogs. So I'm gonna put this on just like that, but I'm gonna take a plate, put it on the front of it so we get a little bit more uh, distribution on the heat. And we're gonna wait five minutes and that's it. Ha! Ha! Best day of my life. This is fire. This is too good. Look at this, man. This is the shit that killed Elvis right here. Look at that. Who is kidding who? Is that zooming in? Autofocus game what? Oh, look at this. <sighs> Mother of God. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I'm getting the artichoke. Everything's cooked perfectly. The beer batter or the waffle batter was perfect. Jalapenos are coming through. Mmm. Nothing's too overpowering. I could eat this every day. I could eat this every day of my life. And I might. I actually might just do it. I actually tried something to wash it down with. What do you think we should do? 
Say it. M. No. B. Just say it! C. More, more, more! Man, Mr. Burger, That's it guys, thank you for watching another episode of Homebrew for Life. I know this is a beer channel, but I just wanna make cooking videos from time to time. These are my favorite ones to do. We got videos coming out a lot. That's it, let's get out of here. Cheers, eating good, drinking good. I'll see you guys on the hoppy hour tomorrow night, Wednesday night, maybe it's tonight. Depends if I edit this video right now. That's it, let me eat, get out of here, scram. Mm.